Yo. So around a year ago, a huge fan. trend hit the internet, and the NPC TikTokers were born. I hated, this. I hated, hated this, bro. Why did y'all promote this shit? Why did y'all get this famous? This proves people would do anything for money. I'll get up and dance and give you three This sticks. is the closest to like, what's that show called? Black, <laughs> Black Thank Mirror. Thank you for the ice cream. Bro. Spicy, spicy, spicy! Fire, fire! I'm a fat cow. Oh, man, doing this for a hundred bucks. Oh, 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 oh. So these people basically go on TikTok Live oh, and react to all the different crazy. donation emojis that people are sending in. They have these quote-unquote pre-programmed reactions like, the to bag, the different though. symbols, <laughs> and that's how they bait people into donating. Actually, that is essentially the entire point of the show. Now, why someone would sit around watching this stuff all day, I really do not know. And while I do generally detest this activity, I do have to hand it to the person who came up with the idea because they did indeed find the infinite money glitch. Or at least so they thought. Don't get me wrong, a few of these people like Pinky Doll are still going strong, raking in tens of thousands of dollars a month oh God, and continuing bro. to do their TikTok thing. I actually tuned into her live it's stream. Like Low-key embarrassing. Let's say... You're above this earthly world. You don't give a fuck about money. Just watch someone do this. Today, you know, know, to do bro. some research. Watch. And this is the masterpiece that I witnessed. Hey, yo. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. <laughs> Listen, nah, man. Nah, you are, her like, coat nah, nah, volume. For her, I think it really helps that she has detoured into other types of content yeah. successfully, she, you know, she so she doesn't lose her mind. But for others, things are not exactly going to plan. And it seems that months of acting as a TikTok NPC is really starting to catch up to some of these individuals from a psychological standpoint. Today, we'll specifically be narrowing in on a guy who dresses... I thought they would, like, change it up because, you know, as, like, an artist or... Like, it just look at music. You have to change your style every now and then. Or just do what's true to you. Because, like, if you stay with the same style that you got, you know, famous with, you're going to fall off. It doesn't last up forever. as Spider-Man, more specifically Miles Morales, shit. who has gotten up. quite popular. Just picture the loading screen in an old Spider-Man game or DVD set, and that's exactly what he does. What's going on, man? Hey, it's me, Miles. All right. uh, I don't all right. think I should use that right now. That sounds pretty dangerous. Those smell amazing. Thanks. What, what the fuck are you talking about, man? And recently, this <laughs> Miles Morales has been crashing out a whole lot. There's 11,000 people in here. There's 11,000 people in here and you guys are not tapping the screen okay make sure that you're tapping the screen there's 11,000 people in here there's 11,000 people in here okay tap the goddamn screen okay tap the goddamn screen okay tap you see this button like right video. here tap, tap the, the fucking, fucking button look tap the fucking like video. okay I'm press the playing. fucking button play thanks to follow see you guys are amazing <laughs> To see him go from being so frustrated and mad over people not donating and liking his stream to going right back into the NPC character is honestly just kind of sad to see. I mean, imagine doing any of this for a year straight, and I think it would be enough to drive any man crazy. Just stop, please. Like, I'm not joking, bro. I'm not joking, bro. So sadly, it appears that this guy really is in a bad place. You know, this whole situation is probably uh, a dream for anyone who doesn't want to work a regular nine to five. And the prospect of making tens of thousands of dollars just to do something as simple as this probably sounds great on paper. But I just feel it like at this really point, easy. this man absolutely dreads the time of the day where he's supposed to go live. I want to go home. I want to go to sleep. 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 I want to go to bed. Spider-Man's been protecting the city for a long time. I think it's about time for me to go home. I try to be respectful, but you guys are really starting to piss me off. Listen, all I know is this man always looks sweaty and tired as fuck. And I do think for him, it really does not help that he's constantly filming in the streets of New York City like... I get that it's part jumps. of the bit, 
like at least for a lot of these people they get to do this shit in the comfort of their own home and i do feel like him having to do this out in public really just adds a whole nother layer of bullshit i mean i also saw this clip where the police were giving him a pretty hard time he was supposed to teach me everything you know you're being trespassed i'm being trespassed yes okay you want to take my name yes please cool yeah i'm id where did you guys where's my bat uh it's over here for our safety Okay, I'm gonna use my lightsaber. You shouldn't touch my stuff, man. Hey, you guys. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> and it seems like he's constantly dealing with annoying outside influences on stream. Nah, like most recently, thing. when he apparently got robbed on TikTok Live. You won. Um, yeah. You won. You won. As you guys know, last night I got. Robbed. Fucking robbed. I'm gonna try to do this in one take because I'm really angry right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really fucking angry right now. That sucks, bro. It seems like the you same type of niggas that are supposed to support you, bro, don't fucking support you, bro. It be your own fucking people, bro. Your own fucking people. With you, bro. I mean, yeah, like I said, him going out in public where people can clearly yeah. see his backgrounds. Okay, a lot of people are going to be able to pinpoint his location in a place as popular as New York is a total detriment yeah. to not only his mental health, but also a huge safety risk. Right. And I know a lot of people out there will probably just say, probably oh, so you know, fast. he should just quit. He should just go get a normal job. And I just don't think just those people normal. really. He's, he's really popular at this point. Why don't he just stream games? stream anything like he can see anything. how vicious of a cycle you have to do doing this. anything on the internet for a living can actually be for a person and how scary it can be to step away from this type of opportunity even though a lot of people probably think it's dumb what he's doing the man has obviously made a lot of money doing it and i'm really trying not to dislike certain types of people bro i'm really trying not to bro but literally that? i cannot do this shit no more bro I'm trying to be the best streamer for you guys, bro. My dream is to be one of the best content creators. Do YouTube, do Twitch, do any, all this fucking shit, right? Oh, he, and I can't oh, do, it. do that when you himself. guys are fucking with me every yeah, time out. I go fucking live, bro. I mean, that's also the curse of becoming more and more popular, is there's obviously this increased chance of people trying to fuck your shit up. And it's probably extra hard for someone like this because I feel like he is likely on the precipice of gaining enough wealth from this venture to where he doesn't even think about other jobs or alternate routes his life could go. But maybe he's not quite making enough money where the ends always justify oh, the means. Yeah, like, like I saw this interview TikTok with him steel. where he was talking about how women NPC TikTokers apparently make a lot more money. They get a lot more donations. If you're a guy doing it, you make significantly less money. So if you hear like a lot of crazy numbers, um, from these girls. Well, you know why um, But yeah, I'm a guy so I'm, I make a little bit less but you know, it's still decent It's still enough to like yeah, where I don't I, I probably don't need to work a regular job And it also seems like at least at that time, you know He was hard-pressed to crack four or five thousand dollars a month, which obviously in New York City That's not gonna go very far and of course there's rumors out there that he's making like twenty thousand dollars a stream You know those people are always full of shit. I don't know what I'm doing to get all this hate I'm just trying to be man, people the hate best this. streamer, bro. I fuck with y'all that help me, man. If you don't like it, you don't but, like it. Why? Uh, they, Why would you hate? I never understood they, that. I can this cringe. This shit, Stupid, I man. I mean, yeah, you really have to feel for the guy. He's Why? obviously wearing his heart on his <laughs> sleeve here. And I have to think that this is very similar to the life of damn near any street performer, you know, like when you go to New Orleans or Las Vegas or any other major city, I just get the feeling that those guys have always lived pretty hard lives. And there's obviously a lot of bad shit that can happen to you out there. Here he apparently shared his villain origin story on TikTok and uh, I have to say it gets pretty dark. You know, it always starts with a girl. And a dark-haired goth girl at that. <laughs> Don't trust them. <gasps> he killed her. Nah, man. He's on that slim shady shit. 
And then I saw people online saying that this apparently isn't even the first time that he crashed out. I don't know how many of you remember this clip from three years back where this Domino's delivery driver lost his mind over not getting a tip, but people are now claiming that this is the same guy. No! Bro, just calm down. You only got to take one more delivery. I don't want to work here anymore! I don't even sound like Five that. Five minutes! Shit. <laughs> the they don't even sound like him. I mean, all I gotta say is I hope this guy has enough money saved up where he can maybe get the mental health he needs. Personally, when I was a little bit younger in my 20s, I used to be someone that had a very short fuse. I would have a hard time dealing with my emotions. And a lot of times I didn't know what else to do but explode, kind of like this guy is doing in this video. But the thing is, guys, eventually you have to learn to Damn, deal uh, with yourself. And you don't want to lose your mind every time things are going wrong in I your least, life. Because it just... Yes. Be okay with yourself. You don't need money. That passion, you don't need that either. That's another form of addiction. If you're okay with yourself, that's all you ever need. <laughs> Puts you in a very vulnerable position. I don't know. I just see homeless. this as yet another but example okay yourself, of how everyone fine. wants these like new age internet jobs. But in a lot of ways, they're not always all they're cracked up to be. I don't think that being I mean, quote unquote true, internet famous like... or having real fame is nearly as fun as it was in the past. In so I don't know. I just think all this type <laughs> of okay, shit can myself. definitely be a Let's double edged sword. <laughs> and the other thing is, once the movement kind of moves on, I mean, TikTok like might even get banned altogether. Kind of like, what are you going to do after that? You kind of have to plan your safety net. It's something I'll think about all True. the time because, you know, eventually I am going to retire, at least from doing this. But luckily for me, it's been quite the fun ride. Yeah, I've had my uncertainties here and there, but I wouldn't change yeah. the way anything. I better like the fucking video, bruh. Like his video too.